guys today we are at a borrow pit of the Mississippi River it's about a mile away from the Mississippi and this was built after World War II they stole all this dirt to make the levee right here behind us protecting this little town here it's a really long borrow pit and every spring when the Mississippi floods it comes into here and then as it recedes they stay in here the fish stay in here the every kind of fish that swim in here and it's still deep even after 60 or 70 years it's still 20 feet deep down the bottom because it does not bring any new cells in here so it has stayed remained deep all them years I'd say it's a quarter mile long probably 15 or 20 acres. Pretty good borrow pit. We're going to see what we get on here. We're going to put the canoe in here a little bit. Right now we're going to try with the bank. This one worms out on the bottom because I want to try to get a common carp or bowfin or something like that. Flathead. We're going to see what we can get out of here guys and then we're going to fish for bass, crappie, and white bass from the canoe. I'm going to get these poles out and stick them in rod holders and just see what I can get on the bottom. Maybe get a nice catfish or common carp. Just never know. Got hung up already? You shouldn't fish over there. It's snaggy and shallow on that part. It's not deep over there. Should have known better. Especially with a crankbait or whatever you're using middle of the lake as deep as water as I can get it in got it Got something! Wilma! Not bad. Don't know what it is yet, but it ain't bad. I think it's a flathead. No. Giant bullhead. Really big though. My gosh. Really big bullhead. All right, guys, first fish of the day. Caught him on my Sabiki rod. This is a rod that has no eyes, and you slide the line up through the middle of the rod, and it has like it looks like a walking cane for an end. Very strange rod. My neighbor had it on his porch, and I just thought it was kind of unique and different. So I'm using it as a worm pole for catfish. It's very, very strong. It don't bend. I can barely bend it with my arms. So it's hard to tell when you get a bite. Got me a, it's either a black or yellow bullhead. Pretty big one though.
was hoping for a flathead or a big channel or carp or something. And fish. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the hook either. It's pretty ways down there. Of course, I don't have my pliers with me. Oh yeah, got something. Ah, probably a bullhead again. And it's not bad. Oh, what is this? And another big bullhead. My goodness, that's a giant. Whoa. All right, guys, I didn't even know this fish was on there. I was just checking the worm and started he started pulling as I was reeling it in I felt him it's a nice bullhead there big for a bullhead my goodness still not getting the kinds I'm after but at least I'm getting something I guess Oh, ugly bullhead. A big fat little guy though. They love swallowing that hook. They just love it. Yeah, I did. It's small. Little bullhead again. Another dang bullhead. My God. Three of them. God. Oh, that's even bigger yet. He may be a black. Three of these stinking things. Three bullheads. They're all big though. Really big. Alright guys, bullhead number three. They're all 10, 11 inchers. Give them that. I sure don't want them. I know one was okay, but not every fish. I got him soon enough, I hooked him just perfect where it didn't gut hook him. <sighs> Alright. I think these are yellow bullheads if I'm not mistaken. That's what they look like. They could be black. I know they're not brown. Or either yellow or black. My goodness. Alright, Wilma got a common carp. That's what I'm trying for. I've caught three bullheads all about 10 inches. You sure did. Out in the middle or close to the bank? Close to the bank. Really? He's not bad. He's about two pounds. Hold on a minute. Let me cast this out and I'll film you. I've caught three billheads. They're all about as long as the cooler. Every throw. But luckily I got my hooks back. I'm thinking maybe it ain't deep until you get down there in the middle. That's why I'm getting bullheads. It's going to take me a minute. i got to tighten the drag up on this once it settles. you got to keep the line tight so you can tell when you get a bite. I don't know how deep a water I'm in, that's the problem. It could be shallow on the end. I told you the fish is in the shallow. Alright, let me wash my hands. Yeah, one of my feet went completely in the water. <sighs> I can't believe three giant bullheads. They're yellow bullheads, not brown or black. I think they're yellow. Okay. Uh, 
go ahead and hold it up for us before I get a bite. All right, Wilma with her, our best common carp of the year. He's not bad. Bend him out a little bit on that end. He's crooked. He's slick. Yeah, I know. Hold him by the little. This is a common carp, guys, about two pounds. There you go. Okay, lower your hand a little bit. No, your fingers, I mean. There you go. Tell you what, go to the switch sides with me because the sun. Not horrible. I keep seeing them jump. It's aggravating because I keep getting bullheads. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, you got one. Okay. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. Now I can film you, guys. This is the biggest carp. This might be your personal best. We may weigh him just to see. He's at least 10, but he could be 12. Pretty good sized carp. That's one of the fish we was wanting to get here on vacation, guys. So that... Hey, just hold that pose. Good job. That's a nice one there. Man. I'm to take a picture to get up my hat. He fought hard, didn't he? Yeah. Can I take it up my hat? Why? Take it up. Pull in your, in front of oh, you. Oh shit, now you look like a sombrero. Okay. <gasps> Finally. Man. A big one. Yeah, it is. Goodness. He's, he's 10. I ain't gonna weigh it. He's about 10. Probably older thing. Well guys, she got a, one of the kind we're after and one of a big one at that. And I'm down here getting bullheads. We're gonna let this beast of a carp go. A nice 10 pounder plus. Yeah. That's awesome. Good sized one there. Yeah, definitely a bull head. The biggest one of the day though. My gosh. Now that may be a brown. No, yellow. did swallow the hook. I doubt I get this one back. Oh my goodness. Really windy now. Here comes some more sprinkles. Wait for this to blow or so I can get in the canoe and fish for game fish. Wilma just got a channel. Look at this bullhead. This is what I've been catching. I got four of these. All the same. Yeah. I know. Shoot, it's gonna, we're gonna have to sit in the van for a minute. I have a feeling. Yeah, I think we should take shelter for a minute. I just put the pliers right there in the top, very top. Remember that little zipper? I think we may want to get in the van for a minute. I had to cut the hook on him. I, I made it with three of them. I got the hook out and that one was, there was no way. I had to cut it. I don't feel like fixing up another pole because I'm wanting to get the canoe after this. Second 
car. We're having bad luck getting the canoe in here. It's 20 mile an hour winds all day long. Huh? You caught three car? Oh, I didn't see the other one. I only seen the big one. Small. Oh, uh, okay. First one, and then the second one is the big. Yeah. Good job. I seen you reel something in earlier. All right, Wilma caught a long nose gar and a drum. Oh, you put the gar back? Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. I seen you reel in the gar. I was wondering why you never came down. Big. How big, though? It's big. Like that? It's a long nose. You should have brought it. I, I'm tired too. I missed it on You're camera. I would have brought the gloves to you. I would have brought the gloves. That's a fish we get to, get to record. Four. He's not giant, but boy, he sure fought hard at first. He's a little two pounder. I'm just used to them bullheads. He felt he was big compared to them. Yes, it's nothing compared to Wilma's, but I'll take him. All right. Boy, it's been hard, guys. We haven't even been able to launch the canoe in here, unfortunately. It's 30 mile an hour winds, and they just do not let up whatsoever. I finally got a carp that's half decent. He's actually about three pounds. Not too bad. He's not a bad guy. Yes. And it's been hard to detect these bites with these horrible winds. It is hard to even tell when you're getting a bite. You have to really sit there and watch like a hawk because the wind is blowing everything around so much. Oh, we got another one. Oh, crap. All right, guys, I got my first common of the day. He is only about two pounds, a little over two maybe. Not a bad one. Not a bad little guy. Ah, I can't get this camera set right. There we go. Not a bad little guy. I'll take him. Alright, I'm happy. 
happy with him. I finally got what I come for. It's not the right size yet. I got it. I caught a one out. Way out in the middle. Huh. What do you know? Something nice here. I don't know what it is yet. I think it's a channel cat. But I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. It's a nice channel cat. He's four pounds. My goodness. And I just had to sacrifice a bite on my other pole. There was nothing I could do. I got bites at the same time. He's nice. He's, he's real big. Yeah. He's a decent one. I'm going to have to have you come film me I can't really eh, I'll carry him up the hill and put the camera on my backpack I guess you got one god I'm still getting a bite on my other pole I'm gonna have to I didn't think that's what this was you got one I gotta get this other pole I got to put my foot on that one and get this one. It just keeps biting and biting it. I think it might be a turtle. This channel's, yeah, he's, he's easily four pounds. It's because the wind got better and they're down here. It just took a while to get a bite, but I got bought bites at the same time on both poles. I had to choose one. I, I'm glad I picked that one. Off so Wilma can film me. She's got something decent here, guys. Carp? You got something big. Oh my. I think it is a carp. I got a catfish in the dip net. It's the problem. You're going to have to let him wear down. I can't use the dip net. Just let him wear down. No, you got a big channel cat. No carp. He's not very big. Hey, boy, they really turned on, guys, since this wind stopped. Now be careful. He'll break that. That's a big, big cut piece. All right, guys, nice channel cat. Nice channel cat. About four pounds. Three pounds. Yeah, I'd say three. He's decent. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's it. All right, let me throw him in. No, no, no. Go over there. Go over there. For it's not disturbing the fish over there. You're still catching. I know. But there's no way to do it. Go over there, go over there. I'll, I'll go down the hill and let him in real quick. I call it. Mine was a little bigger, but good job, honey. A little bit longer. Good job. That's not a bad one. All right, let's catch some more. Man, that was a hassle. All right, I'm keeping the dip net with me because I got to have it where I'm at because I'm on a hill. <sighs> now I all right, guys. That ends this episode all in all. The main problem was it was too windy all day. We couldn't launch. She did get that 10 pound carp and I got the 4 pound channel.
and I got another little two and a half pound carp so could have been worse could have been less bullheads would have helped and less wind till next time hit that like button and please subscribe